Making history, the first woman, an African American, to lead the Library of Congress is sworn in today. And Dr. Carla Hayden spent the last several years leading the Pratt Library system here in Baltimore. And WJZ is live at the Enoch Pratt Library in Mount Vernon. Marcus Washington with more on this historic day. Marcus. That's right, Mayor. You know, right here, this was the home for Dr. Hayden for many years as she had the Enoch Pratt Free Library. And, you know, as much as people are sad to see her go, they couldn't be more proud of her accomplishments and history, all that she's making right now. And I will well and faithfully discharge. It's the beginning of a new chapter in the Book of American History. Dr. Carla Hayden sworn in as the 14th Librarian of Congress, the first female, the first African American. And as a descendant of people who were denied the right to read, to now have the opportunity to serve and lead the institution that is the national symbol of knowledge is a historic moment. Dr. Hayden, most recently the director of the Enoch Pratt Free Library in Baltimore since 1993, celebrated for her innovation during her tenure, U.S. Senator Barbara Mikulski calling Hayden an inspirational and transformational leader. And while director of the Enoch Pratt Free Library, Dr. Hayden made the decision to keep the doors open during the unrest of April 2014. You have to remember, this was the epicenter of those events right here at Penn North. But while the lights were on inside the library, just across the street, the CVS going up in flames. Cars were still smoldering in the streets. Closed signs were hanging in storefronts for blocks. But people were lined up outside the doors of the library. And when you walked in that library during that time of trouble and tension, there were kids reading, there were kids studying, there were people on the computers trying to find a job. That forward thinking and actions many say makes Dr. Hayden the perfect fit for this position and leading the Library of Congress into the future. So let's make history at the Library of Congress together. Thank you. And Dr. Hayden, thank a lot of people, especially her mother. She says uh, her mother actually gave her three things that she will take with her to the Library of Congress, the love of reading, music, and service. Reporting live tonight, I'm Marcus Washington, WJZ Eyewitness News. Baltimore is so very proud of her, Marcus. Thank you. Before coming to Baltimore, Dr. Hayden worked as the Deputy Commissioner and Chief Librarian for the Chicago Public Library. What an exciting moment. day, I know.